Well, sometimes it sure does seem like summer disappears in the blink of an eye, but at one kid's summer camp on the city's northwest side, making things disappear, that's the whole point. WGN's Mike Lowe takes you to Magic Camp in tonight's cover story. If you want more magic, this is the place. At the corner of North Walcott and West Lawrence Avenues sits the oldest magic shop in North America. Magic Incorporated is one of the oldest family-run, continuously operating magic stores in the planet, if not the oldest one. We have about 10,000 products in stock. You don't come into a store and pick up things and look at them because there's thousands of these little things tucked away in drawers and cubby holes. Pick a card and a card. In the back of the shop sit some of the newest magicians. You want to do the four robbers? Nearly a dozen kids. Bend the book a little bit and let the pages go off your finger. In top hats and t-shirts are attending magic camp. Okay, so for this trick, I'll need a volunteer. Where the real lessons don't involve concealing cards or waving wands. Here at Magic Camp, we're developing not just performance skills and not just the ability to do magic tricks, but it's about confidence and being able to stand up and uh, speak and be understood. So I'm going to draw. They're learning public speaking. On this notepad, what you see, okay? Um, I'm Paul. Persuasion, creativity. Let's flip these cards over. Oh, they're all aces. And confidence. Some of the kids have come in here and they were super shy and they started out, would you like to take a card? But by the end of the camp, by the end of just one week together, they're boldly coming up. They're saying, ta-da, when things go right and uh, they've really come out of their shells. The incredible magic of Tyler! The camp counselor is Los Angeles-based performer Dave Cox. Hocus pocus, let's all focus. The veteran magician is casting a spell on the campers. House. Performing magic takes practice. Now get ready for your mind to be blown. Back to the top. Teaching it takes patience. Put it down on the table, put it down on the table, put it down on the table. Krishna, put it down on the table. Kai, put it down on the table. Charlie, put it down on the table, down on the table, down on the table. Charlie, put it down on the table. Each camper brings something different to the table. Some of them are a little more dangerous, some of them are a little more difficult, but all out, there's a perfect magic trick for every kid in camp. Performing a trick for the group. So there's nothing in my bag. So basically, you have to show the bag to everybody. So it's empty, then you have to do something special that I'm not telling anybody. So, you shouldn't record this. We agreed to uphold the magician's oath, not to reveal the secrets behind the illusions. The ball and vase. I take a ball, put it in my pocket, then I'm gonna set it right there. Now I'm gonna wave my hands. The ball reappears. Oh. But that's not all. I'm gonna do it again. Where'd it go? Now it's gone, where did it go? Right into my pocket. Oh. Eight-year-old Kai Sturba didn't explain the sleight of hand, but he did offer an exclusive. I haven't been interviewed before. Never. Never. We learned a lot of cool tricks. I learned some new card tricks, and we did a lot of fun stuff. He gave us some things to take home to practice them. I'm gonna let you choose any crayon, don't let me see. At Magic Camp. Well, we learned like a lot of magic, obviously. Magic has the ability to spark wonderment. Oh, a red handkerchief. Inspire imagination and suspend disbelief. That's the job of magic, is to make people feel like a kid again. And these people are already kids, so they're already full of wonder. And to see that blossom and their excitement and thrill about being able to make other people feel that way and make other people feel wonder. And it's also very empowering to give them skills and things that adults don't know and can't do. And I really like magic tricks because I like to believe that they're real and not, and not think that they're tricks. The shocking, like, it just gets you all excited, like, oh, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen? I think it's the fact that you know that it's not real, but you're seeing it and it's like, you, it's actual magic. And I think it's really fun to deceive yourself. Yep. At the nation's oldest magic shop. I'm going to need you to tell me when to stop. 
Stop. All right, take, take that card. It's the newest magicians. All right, show it to the audience. Who just might make you... Don't let me see. ...believe in magic. You're saying this wasn't your card? Yeah. It wasn't? Was that? Yeah. It was? Well, you know, I made a prediction that you were going to pick the Queen of Hearts. On the Northwest Side, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Magic! <laughs> magic. <laughs> No, it I'm didn't still work. Here. You're still here. <laughs>